I suspect that the historians are going to mark down all of the 1960s as just another phase of 20th century man and his strange ideas about progress. But once in a while, one has to stop and think about the things we see and hear today. For example, at the grocery store the other day, I glanced down at a rack of those family-type magazines they sell, the kind that used to devote their pages to potted plants and cherry rhubarb pie. Across the front was the headline, Are We the Last Married Generation? Rock and roll music seems to be getting more blatant daily with its lyrics. You go to the movie these days and you see films that leave you wondering whether they really meant what they appeared to mean. Remember a generation ago when some romantic guy pointed out that 98% of the songs in America have love in the title? Well, I checked a recent list of the top 50 songs. Only eight had love in the title at all. Two of those held the subject in considerably less than a favorable light. If the music of 20 years ago and its infatuation with love is any indication of how society thought then, perhaps we'd best take a searching look at the music in the jukeboxes of today. During the past 12 months, this record machine has played such songs as D-I-V-O-R-C-E and You Better Sit Down, Kids, the latter being a bitter ballad about mom and dad about to split the dish rags. There are two particularly well-worn buttons. They play a song called With Pen in Hand. It's a pretty song if you don't take it too seriously, but people supposedly listen to music they can relate to. I talked to a number of authorities on the subject and they all have the definite opinion that something is happening to the tradition of getting married. Without presuming to any personal conclusions, it must be reported that not only the music and the mood, but the very law of the land in America is beginning to reflect society's changing attitudes toward the institution of marriage. And while it may well be true that the moon-conquering Americans are currently involved in the throes of a cultural reevaluation. Any teenager who knows his popular music well will tell you that on any jukebox, beside the button that talks about a sad song, there's another button, and it probably plays a song with some good old American homespun philosophy. Jerry Taft, Channel 8 News, reporting.